At the Sea Science Center, hands-on learning is encouraged. Curiosity welcome for everything scientific under the sun, including the eclipse. They're teaching kids and kids at heart. It's kind of fun to look at it any old day. All about it. So if the sun were this big, this tiny needle point hole is how big the moon would be, about 400 times smaller. Wow. But if they're far enough apart, something smaller can completely block out something bigger, which is what happens during the eclipse. So I'll take the moon? Take the moon, and it's going to go farther away. Farther away, here we go. It eventually, if we're far enough apart, it'll be able to completely block out the sun. You can view it indirectly. You can use any object that has holes in it. A colander is a great one. And each one of these will project an image of the eclipse. It'll be really interesting. It'll look like a, it'll look like a shrinking crescent, and then it'll grow back again. Wow. <laughs> For direct viewing, approved solar eclipse glasses are a must. They block out 99.9% .9 of the sun's light, so they're thousands of times darker than any pair of sunglasses. The only time anybody can take these off is if they're in that northern part of New Hampshire where there's totality, and, and they will be watching until that last, through the glasses, till the last part disappears, and they'll take them off. The Sea Science Center will host an eclipse event at Arms Park in Manchester with their viewing tent, lined with a strip of solar film, just like the glasses to look through. It's a 10 by 20 foot tent, so you'll be able to look at the eclipse with your family and talk about it. And the visually impaired will be able to listen to the eclipse. So this is a light sound device. It's made by Harvard, and it has a light detector. And as it gets brighter, you hear higher and louder sounds. As the light gets dimmer, you hear lower sounds. Another way to tune into the eclipse through the Sea Science Center. In Manchester, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.